oh guys that was such a productive day like i have got so much work done and to be honest i'm not even going to sit here and say that i've been like grinding and putting in the hours and you know whatever or stuff like that uh, to be honest because that's not true i've actually had quite a chill day i've had like, a few little work blocks where i have done like intense really like productive moments of work and i've also had like me chill relaxed moments where i've i've been in the gym and i'm actually doing brad riley's social media marketing academy course so i've been doing a few of his little modules you know like applying all like the stuff like what he does is after his module he'll say okay now go and apply this or go and do this so i've been just working away through his course so all in all quite a chill day productive but very chill day and like i said i've just had a few little work blocks where i've been very productive but uh, more on that on like in like a different video like let me know in the comments down below like do you want me to do a video on like smart work versus hard work let me know in the comments down below anyway back to the actual topic of the video because that was just a random rant uh basically i do coaching like social media marketing coaching uh, personal brand coaching stuff like that and one of my coaching students uh, watched my instagram video i put up an instagram video the other week about the instagram algorithm and how you can beat it and strategies to beat it and stuff like that and he said he said does the instagram algorithm also apply for instagram story and to be honest i don't know i didn't know I, I had to actually google it myself and it turns out that instagram story has also got its own algorithm so it's no longer chronological which it was for a long time and i also put it in my ebook i've got a free ebook it's in dutch but I put in my ebook that one of the best ways to stay top of mind is by constantly post Instagram story because when you post an Instagram story, you'll go left top of the Instagram story feed. But that is like no longer, like, like that's not necessarily the case anymore. So basically Instagram story has got its own algorithm that consists of a few different factors. And just to give this video a little bit more structure because it was pointed out to me that sometimes my rant videos are quite messy. So just to give this video a bit of structure, I want to explain to you guys about the Instagram algorithm. Then secondly, I'm going to explain to you guys how you can grow on Instagram stories or how you can gain followers from Instagram story. And thirdly, another thing that gets asked quite often is how to upload high quality youtube videos or like motivational videos onto your instagram story so make sure you stick to the end of the video because there's a lot of value coming your way so firstly the instagram algorithm consists of a few different things and basically like the most important thing is the people that engage with your instagram stories or your content in general they will see your instagram story first so let's just for example say gary vaynerchuk i'm always looking at his profile you know i check all his instagram stories for example and i comment on all his posts that like i will see gary vaynerchuk's instagram story post left top of the instagram story feed so first in the order and this also works vice versa let's say for example gary v uh like really engaged with my content and he looked at my posts and he looked at my instagram story and he used to comment under my posts then there's a very big chance that i'll be left top in his instagram story feed this also means that people that only view your content like not necessarily engage with your content so they just view your instagram stories they just view your posts they'll also stay you'll also be top of the instagram story feed so it's not necessarily it's not necessarily engagement it's also like if a person views your content then instagram thinks that that person is interested in your content and then most of like the reddit posts and all the blog posts i read said sort of the similar things you know it's about engagement it's about the people that instagram thinks are interested in your instagram story post they will see your post and one of the uh, reddit posts that i read actually can like the author actually contacted instagram and asked them like you know could you explain a little bit more on uh, like the Instagram story algorithm, you know, just elaborate on it. And they actually replied to him and he said that the following, similar to the feed, Instagram stories are ordered based on which moments you'll care about the most. The order is determined based on number of signals, including number one, the likelihood you'll be interested in the content, number two, the timeliness of the post, and number three, your relationship to the person posting. The technology is powered by a machine learning which is adaptive to your behavior and improves over time. So basically the same thing as what all the other posts have said. It's about the content, uh, like the people that engage with your content, they'll see your content first. And obviously the people that aren't really interested in your content or do follow you but don't really like view your stuff, then they obviously will not see your Instagram story post. Even though you're like the last person to post, like it's the order is no longer chronologically. So now that's out of the way, 
uh, how do you actually grow on Instagram story? To be honest, it's quite easy and it's quite an easy and effective way to like gain quite a few followers from it. I do sometimes get questions from companies. They say like, like is Instagram stories, is it necessary or is it just people showing like what they're eating? And uh, even for companies, but also definitely for personal brands, Instagram story is like a little secret weapon that you can use to gain followers, but also gain like attention and awareness. And uh, one of the best ways to do it is by tagging your location, which seems so like easy and people think, oh, why tag your location? Uh, you know, I don't want everyone knowing where I am. Uh, basically, Instagram story locations have also got their own like story. So let's say, for example, I'm in Amsterdam, I post something and I put the location Amsterdam in my Instagram story. And then the location Amsterdam has got its own Instagram story and my post will come up in there. So that is an easy way to get quite a lot of extra views in your story is by tagging the location. And like some people say, like, well, I don't want big, massive a sign where it says like Amsterdam or New York or whatever, you can just minimalize it by uh, like pinching the screen and making it smaller. And you can make it so small that it's actually invisible, but then your location will still be in that Instagram story post. Same goes for hashtags. You can also use hashtags on Instagram stories. So what I do is I've got like a certain amount of hashtags in my notes uh, app on my phone, and then I paste them into my Instagram story, minimalize it, like make it as small as possible so you can't see it, and then it's still in that post. And I, I'm not 100% sure, but up until now, there hasn't been anything about being shadow banned by putting like Instagram story hashtags in your Instagram story post. Yeah. So to gain extra views and followers, uh, hashtags and locations, and to actually start engaging more with your community, what you, you can do is do like the polls, so ask questions, even questions you already know the answer to, just ask questions to your followers, you know, like try and spike that engagement because once they start engaging with your posts, there's a bigger chance that they'll see your Instagram story post like on a regular basis because then Instagram will think that they're interested in your Instagram story post and then you'll be a like, top of the Instagram story post feed. So because I went through that quite quickly, uh, hashtags, locations, questions, polls, and just engage in general. So you can put up vlogs as well on your Instagram story. Like people do it. I like basically Instagram stories. Like, it's like a mini day in the life vlog in it. So might as well just treat it that way and just bring people along on your journey. You know, like just show people what you're up to, what you're doing. You know, like uh, if you go to a different location, throw the geo tag in it so people can see where you are, and then you also pop up on that, that that location story stuff like that so instagram stories is definitely a very interesting effective way to gain views and followers and lastly how to put the high quality youtube videos into your instagram story i'll put one up here this next five year window is when you don't go practical and safe so basically that's like every now and again i put stuff like that up on my uh Instagram story, just like a little motivational uh, video. To be honest, mostly I do it on days where I'm not really, or I'm either really productive and I don't really want to put too much focus on Instagram story, or it's just one of them really boring, like, days where I'm just behind the laptop, I'll, I'll throw up like a little Instagram story like that. But basically what you do is you find a uh, video on YouTube that, you're, that you want to show your followers, then you go to YouTube to MP4 converter, you rip the video off of YouTube, and then you've got the MP4 file on your computer. You go to your, your video editor, where I'm using Final Cut Pro, but you can also use iMovie, Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, you know, whatever. And then what you do is you cut it up into 15 second videos because it has to be maximum 15 seconds to, to fit in your Instagram story. So you got like, I've got three videos of 15 seconds, then you crop the format to 1980 by 1920 by 1080. So instead of it being horizontally, it's vertically like that, like the Instagram story or like the, the yeah, the Instagram story format. Once you've done that, export it onto your, your laptop. If you're an iPhone, airdrop it onto your phone and then on your Instagram story, swipe up, click on it, and then you've got it on your Instagram story. Throw up the locations and the hashtags and all stuff like that, and you can gain loads of views and followers. Anyway, guys, this video again was messy and ranty, but I hope it had a little bit more structure in than last time. Hope you got something out of it as well, so make sure you start using Instagram stories. Let me know in the comments down below like what Instagram story hacks have you got that I haven't mentioned. Let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.